What's up guys, Double A12 here and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video and today is going to be an amazing video because today I will be showing you guys all the features of 0.12.0 that I can remember because I know I'm probably going to forget some so please um, be a pal and um, leave in the comment section anything I would forget in this version and let's get started. So as you guys can see, um, one thing that um, I like that they added is the frontal view feature in this version. Now if you guys don't know, if you go to the pause menu options, you have the new third person, you can go from um first person to third person to frontal view which is absolutely fantastic you have a new difficulty slider that goes from peaceful normal um uh oh wait no peaceful easy normal and hard from left to right so that is absolutely fantastic you have a new fov slider over here all the way in the bottom where you can go graphically and you know it basically changes your field of view of the game and i like to have it over here because it looks really really nice i guess so that's awesome and um yeah that's you would also swap the jump and sneak, so that's awesome. Also, controller support. So if you guys have controllers and you write um, stuff to connect your controller to your um, device, you can also use a controller to play the game. Really awesome. All that keyboard or, um, you know, yeah. The other thing I want to showcase is the rain. They have weather now in Minecraft Fog You can also have snow and lightning, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's awesome. A cool thing in the creative um, side, as you can see, um, if you have a sword in the creative game, um, bam cannot break blocks no matter what you do so that's i guess a cool way to create to control yourself while you're doing um you know whatever you want doing creative um another cool thing about this is they've added the um different types of boats for the uh different i guess types of wood you know if you use acacia wood to make a boat you go get an acacia boat if you use spruce wood to make um, a boat you'll get spruce wood and so forth and so on with all the other um you know things and uh, if you guys didn't notice in the um slots in the hot bar it will always be uh, eight and you know for every device it doesn't really matter now we'll never go five or six or never change like that so that's awesome over here they added flower pots into the game which is fantastic they really are good for decoration if you guys are builders and all that they added player heads from um i guess um skeleton wither skeleton zombie steve and a creeper um you guys can see another portal there so that's cool you have a cool ocelot down here which are all really cute they're basically cats they scare away creepers so they're pretty useful in that sense and my blaze disappeared, so we're gonna have to add them back. But they added blaze into Minecraft Bodge, and these things are quite deadly. Um, you know, they make some weird metallic noise when you hit them, but they die pretty easily. So just be careful, they can bring you on fire. They added the enchantment table, also, you can also enchant. These things are pretty cool because in the dark, these things actually glow in Bodge. Here, let's go uncover this up. Um, I guess I'm pretty sure you can see some light emit on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're gonna try our best to, um, you know. Uh, show that to you guys and oh <laughs> well um it's gone now but it did do glow and all that they also added anvils uh you can see over here so a normal a normal anvil that has them used this is slightly damaged and heavily damaged and these things do break they have um, a certain amount of uses that you can use over here you guys can see they added compact ice which is like ice except you know uh, they basically don't melt no matter what so that's pretty pretty cool they added golems and snow golems into the game looks like my snow golem melted to make a snow golem you basically have to put two um snow blocks like that as and then put um you know that thing that uh oh gosh the pumpkin head on it and a really cool thing about these i want you guys to try to share these things in a pocket chin. um they have a pretty cool thing that they do and all that so her sorry if you guys can hear any background noise by the way um oh no that's actually the game because of the rain my bad sorry if it's pretty loud but if you guys can't tell, they actually um, spice up the controls, there's their base right there and all that. They also added the um, iron golem, which you can make by making a T-shape of um, iron blocks. These are pretty expensive to make, but you can also force them to spawn with villagers and all that. By the way, they also added villager breeding and all that, so that's pretty, pretty cool. No villager trading yet, as you can see, you can make an iron golem pretty easily. They also added critical hits into the game, where if you jump, and uh, during the falling motion, these things do 50% more damage. You can see the critical hit particles on all that you can also see it if you have a bow so i'm going to showcase that as well if you have a fully pulled back bow and um you try to you know bam you can see the critical hit particles that's just a normal bow as you can see on normal shots you know that don't pull all the way back don't have that but if you go all the way back critical hit right there and falling motion that's how you get critical hits and pe for you pvpers i guess over here this is what's making all the noise oh gosh okay we're gonna kill these guys off because these things are actually zombie villagers that are trying to burn in daylight and um i was just doing some experiments with them so hopefully you guys can hear pretty well i thought it was background noise but nope it's the game all right as you can see villagers do turn to zombie villagers when a zombie attacks them so that's pretty cool that's a normal zombie it's like it's pretty cute oh my gosh he's so sexy look at him and that's a zombie villager they're both pretty cute to be honest but you know it's pretty pretty awesome uh what they can do so yeah there's some cool stuff that you yeah, have been added in the overworld now if you guys go to the nether which we will go through in this amazing nether portal 
Um, they added, oh gosh, oh, okay, we got a zombie, oh gosh, okay, lag, lag, don't know what's that. But if you spawn skeletons in the nether, sometimes you have a chance for them to reading, whoa, we got, like, armor from that thing, okay. With their skeletons, better than also another feature in this game, um, you have a chance of dropping, um, you know, like, mobs can now hold on to items and, um, wear armor, I guess, so we're it's not supposed to come back here. Oh my gosh, I messed up. But we're going back there, so you guys can see the nether has been added. You can make a nether portal friend. Cool thing about this, as long as they're um, as long as it's better than this, you can make a bigger, wider nether portal. And you have to use FNS to light it up. They added brewing stands for potions, so you can make potions now. So you can see in the creative menu, if you go here, you have all these potions um down here, as well as all the enchantment books and um you know all these um cool stuff that's been added. I love gavels and all that. They have nether ward you can use with soul sand and quartz. So that's really all the stuff I can show you guys in creative gameplay. Now for some um survival game. Play. So if we go quickly to a survival world, probably my let's play world, I'll show you guys um, the hunger and sprinting feature. Now as you can see, you got the, got the enchantment um, bars right there. Um, you guys got the hunger on the upper right hand corner and the, um, you know, uh, I guess hearts are there. So if you guys do, you guys will eventually lose hunger on the way and you guys will always need to use um, food to replenish. If it goes under um, around four armor, uh, four hunger bars, you will uh, not be able to sprint, I believe. And, you know, if it goes all the way down, you will start losing health. So hunger is a thing now. And that really is it for the um, review, I guess. There really is nothing else I can showcase. They moved the chat to the middle if that makes any, um difference throughout the game you know other than that um survival has been really more fun here you, i can't wait to see what servers will do with all this stuff and hopefully you iOS people who have been wanting it finally get what you guys want the 0 0.12.1 0.12.0 whatever you guys want to call it and it is absolutely fantastic and crazy um you know how much the game has evolved um ever since the g also the game sounds have kind of changed i guess i can showcase this like if i drop all the way down you guys hear that like um Instead of a, you know, steep grunting noise with that sound. So that's pretty awesome. The sounds have been kind of updated. So that's pretty, pretty cool themselves. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. Hopefully, um, the pretty good review. I really love this update. It's really one of the best updates, most likely, in my opinion. Second to 0. Um, you know, 9.0 and all that. But anyways, that'll be it, guys. Hopefully, you iOS people are finally enjoying this update as much as I am. Can't wait to see what the future holds for Minecraft Odyssey now. If you guys have enjoyed the video, a like is always appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah. Peace out. Bye-bye.